Hello and welcome to this presentation of our new work Renan race machine. This is a very exciting project for us. We're going to go full bore on the racetrack with this one. This is a full endurance style race bike build and it's not a track bike, it is full race. We are not holding back on no, this one. Everything that you'd maybe think, I'm going to track my bike a little bit, but there is a chance I might end up putting it back on the road or doing that out the window on this one. This one is, gone. it's going on track and the only way that it's ever going to get removed from our hands is because we it's gone into a gravel trap so hard it's bent itself in three basically, yeah. which we're hoping yeah, obviously yeah, won't yeah, happen. No, of course, but, no, um, definitely not. Yeah, we're going full, let's get out there and actually race it. Let's yeah. try and change as much as everything as we possibly mm -hmm. can in order to mm -hmm. go for maximum performance along the way. So we've learned a lot of lessons with the testing and the setup that we've done on I say our race bike, but the one that I ride, which is the black and gold ones, which you would have seen on the Bike World TV videos. That's the one that we've done all of the testing and the setup. So we know what is the best setup to work on the front end, both in sort of cold and full hot conditions with different weighted riders. We've obviously got the Wilbers in the rear end, as well as the tuning that we've done to the engine with the Rapid Bike Evo race module, the quick shifter, all this sort of really, really good stuff that puts the package at a ground level in a really, really good place just to hit the track and get going. With all of this knowledge and data behind us, we're like, okay, cool. Now we need to really push it hard. And to do that, and the hardest way to do that is to do endurance. So we are going to build a full race bike, a full factory race bike, a full works race bike that we can categorically take to an endurance meeting and it stand up to its own. Because any racetrack you go to with a boxer engine, lots of people look at you funny because they think yeah. that it's going to be not very good. Yeah, especially at a race weekend. Yeah. You know, when yeah, you've got yeah, a lot yeah. of people out, you know, there are classes in the UK that we can race in. Um, you know, most of those consist of fire blades, R1s and such. Mm -hmm. We know from having ridden our current track bike, um, that we can keep up with a lot of those. All right, maybe they might lose a little bit down the straight, but you know, the, the, the chassis is so solid when it comes to handling. The brakes can be so good that we've got a chance. All right, we're not going to get any winning any championships, but we're going to push this bike to what it can do. You know, and it's all well and good going out and doing a, a 20, 25 minute session or a race mm -hmm. or something mm -hmm. like that. With the, mm -hmm. with the three, two, three, four, six hour endurances, you've got to keep going and going and going mm -hmm. and going. And we're mm -hmm. basically not going to try and break it, but we're going to get to the point where we're going to push this, hopefully, as, as hard as, as it can hard as possibly be really. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, like what Rory alluded to, this is one of the most balanced chassis that I've ever raced on. It thoroughly surprised me the first time I took it out, uh, on track, that is, and it thoroughly surprised me the first time that I rode it in anger. It is an extremely well-positioned chassis, as in, the feel that you get from the front end, the feel that you get mid-corner, the way that you can pick the bike up and really push the gas hard out of the corner, as well as the other bits that sort of are characteristic of the boxer engine, like the torque and stuff like that. But more regards to the chassis sort of tuning, we've got that nailed with the double R front end and the cartridges. We've got obviously got the Wilbers on the rear. It's just overall a really, really, really good package. And We've, we've pushed it pretty hard. I'd like, there's areas that we found that on the brakes, you can really, really work, especially that trellis front end, you can really, really work. It's super hard on the brakes. It's great and the way that it's designed is stiff on the brakes. So I've had the, the rear end pop up a couple of times on the brakes hard, but it's got that mid corner twist so you can get good feel from the front tire. Yeah, okay, you have to work the clutch really hard and become your own slipper clutch when it comes to the final drive and the, di the direct drive. It, it's something that you learn to work with, but we feel we've got the experience and the tools in place to make a really cool, fast and practical track bike. Yeah, Sorry, yeah. race bike that is gonna be competitive. Like Roy said, we're not going out there to get silverware. We're going out there not to prove a point. We're going out there just to really stand by and stand behind the R90 as a product and part of our business model. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, there's some, there's going to be some really cool trip parts. We're going to make it look nice as well. You know, obviously we're a custom bike, but it's going to be a bit of a business card for us as well. So, but there's some trip parts, for example, like we're going to have an adjustable torsion bar so we can just jack the bike up a little bit more. That's something that's a brand new product to us. We want to go and really, you know, hit the development on that and make sure that it's correct before putting mm -hmm. it to market. Um, 
We're trying a few different oil coolers as well at the moment. So obviously different race oil coolers, you kind of want it as almost as small as possible in order to be as aerodynamic and functional as possible, but you also need it to work. And obviously we know these bikes run hot, so it's about creating the balance there. So we're gonna try some different products in that area too. And as you may have seen here, there's a few different fairing setups and such that we're gonna be looking to do in as well. So these are our first uh, set of um, uh, phrase fairings off of a VFR 400. Uh, these might be the ones, they might not, but yeah, this is going to give a sort of overview really of how the sort of 90s vibe build is going to is going to work on this bike. Um, other than that, just keep up to date with uh, our YouTube videos. This is part of our work random range. Um, this is something where the rear sets you've heard us speak about before in previous videos are all going to come together into one piece. And the more we can develop for this bike, the more we're then going to go out and start wanting to build track bikes for other people and race bikes for other people. So if you have taken yours on track and you want something, you're like, oh, I'm struggling, I'm scraping the pegs or something like I'm struggling with the front end, that sort of thing. It's something where we can have like a, a, a brand within a brand almost of saying, right, this is now what we're doing with everything track related. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this is going to be, I think you called it the workhorse earlier. It is the workhorse, yeah. yeah. Play on it. words, but there it is. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, stay, stay in touch, stay uh, on the YouTube channel. Um, find the playlist with all the work around and stuff to see how we're getting on. And we're going to try and do one of these almost with every monthly diary that we mm -hmm. do for all the bits that we find along the way and, and keep you updated. Definitely.